Today, I'm really excited about the brand new feature from Elegant Themes, which allows us to add different column structures into our designs. So before, if you wanted to add, let's say six columns, you would have to either use CSS or you'd have to use a third party plugin. So now this latest update allows us to create different types of column structures, making it even more exciting for us to create layouts that we need in Divi. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. Now, before we begin, I have a few things that I need to uh, talk about. First of all, if you're new to WordPress or you want to expand your WordPress knowledge, I have a free course called WordPress Mastery. You can go ahead and sign up for this course absolutely free. It's an in-depth course which shows you everything that you need to know about WordPress in order for you to start designing websites using WordPress. So go ahead. The link to that is in the description below. Secondly, if you want to take your design skills to the next level using Divi, I have a 50% discount on my Divi Blueprint 3 course. So again, information to that is in the description below. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how to use these brand new column structures from Elegant Themes. Okay, so right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're running the latest update of Divi. So you can double check that by coming over here to updates. So if you click here where it says update, it refreshes. And um, if you haven't downloaded it, it will show right here. And then over here, you can see that all my themes are all up to date and also all my plugins up to date. So once that is all set, now we can go ahead and start working on our brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So we can call this page uh, anything we want. So I'm just going to call this Mac test. And then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder and then go straight to the visual builder. Let me just click on build from scratch over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to add a brand new section. So I'm going to come over here and hover over this area, click this plus button and then click on regular. So now these are the structures that were added recently. So as you can see, we have four, five, six, and we also have a combination of different layouts here. And I think this is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to design a few layouts and just show you how really cool it is to use these new structures. So I'm going to go with this one here. So sometimes you may want to add some icons of companies that you've worked with. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for, um, for image because I'm going to be adding um, image icons. So I'm going to click here, go to my media library. So I'm just going to use these icons that are already on my in my media library. So in your case, you may want to add your own icons. So I'm just going to save this and then I'm going to duplicate this a few times and then drag these into position. So once I've dragged these into position, I'm going to go ahead and change them now. So the reason why I do this is it just makes it easier for me to uh, go to, you know, whichever module it is that I need to make some updates to. So now that we have all these here, I can go in and make changes to them. So I can go now to my media library, choose a different one, upload an image. So you can see now how quickly I can go in and change these. Okay, so I can change this to that one, save that. Okay, so now we have all our images. So as I mentioned uh, before, you would actually have to use a plugin in order for you to have six columns, but now we can do it straight from the builder. And I think this is really, really cool. So what you can do now, once you have this is to go in, maybe even change the color of this background. So I'm going to come over here, go to my background and maybe even change the color. So now we have a really dark color there. So that could work. Okay, next let's add a new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here and let's try a different layout. Okay, so the layout we're going to use here is let's go with, in fact, let's try this one here. Right, so in here I'm going to add some blurbs. I'm going to select it. And uh, I'm just going to reduce some of this text here because there's a bit too much text in there. And then over here on image and icon, I'm going to delete this and add an icon. So I'm just going to choose, you know, random icons here go into design and then I'm going to come over here to image and icon, give it a color. So right now I'm just going to keep things very, very dull. Okay. And then go to uh, icon font size. I'm going to reduce the size there because it's a bit too big. And then I'm going to make 
my text orientation centered. So now everything is all centered. Now for my title here, I think I'll just go in and make this bold. So that stands out a bit more. And for our text size, I think 20 is fine. And then uh, the next thing I need to do now is to just go in and adjust my body text because 14 is a bit too small. So I think 16 is better. Great. Right. So now that I've made those uh, changes to that, I can now go ahead and save. And then I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. And then drag these into position. So these could be maybe your services that you can add over here to the left. And then what you can do now, since we have everything in place now, is to go in and change that icon. So I'm just going to go in and uh, just choose a different icon for this. Save that. Do the same over here. Image and icon. And uh, let's change this to that. And then finally, we are going to change our last icon to maybe this one right here. Okay. So now you can see that this is a structure that we couldn't uh, do before, but now it's much, much easier for us to do that. So over here now, I'm going to add my image, select my uh, image here, go to my library. So the image I'm going to use is, um, right, let's go with this one here. Upload an image. Okay, so now we have our image here. So the other thing that you could also do here is to maybe make this section slightly bigger. So let's go into our uh, row settings and uh, click on design, sizing, and then I'm going to use a custom width. And then I'm going to change this to percentage and drag this down until, let's try 66. Okay, so 66 is going to be the width of my row. And then I'm going to copy my row styles and paste them here as well. Great. So now we can see we've just quickly created this row using our new layout. And uh, let's do one more. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, regular. So this time I am going to go with, let's go with this one here. Okay. So on the left there, I'm just going to add a text module. So I'm going to search for it like that. And then let's give a heading. So I'm going to change this to uh, maybe heading two. And then I'm going to come over here to design, heading text, heading two. We're going to make this all caps, reduce the size a little bit. And then we're going to make it bold. Save that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy my styles. And let's paste. So I've just pasted what we had before there. Uh, so what we could also do here is we could duplicate this and drag it over to the right. Like that. And then in the middle here, we can add a video. Okay, so that's our video going in there. So this could be content that uh, supplements what we have here on the video. So what I'm going to do as well here, and uh, this is something that uh, I think is important, is to go in and add an image overlay. So I'm going to come over here to overlay, add an image, and then I'm going to choose the image from my library, and then I'm just going to select... Uh, Let's go with this one right here. Okay, so now our video looks much better with that image in the background. And then all I have to do now is to change the icon because the icon right now is really white and um, it's invisible. So if we turn that into maybe that. Okay, so that looks better. I can go ahead now and save. And then uh, what we could also do is to uh, add a color to this section background. So I'm going to come over here to section settings, click on background and add a background color over here. So what we may want to do now, because this text is quite difficult to read, is to go back over here into our module settings. Design text. And then uh, first of all, I need to increase the size here to about maybe 16. Okay, and then I'm going to change my font color. So I'm going to start here, change that to white or maybe even a light gray, like that. And then we want to do the same for the title and change the color as well. Now, if you want to be a bit more creative, you could actually choose a color from here. So maybe this could be a color from your color palette. So let's go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to duplicate this and drag it over here to the right because I don't want to go in and make all those changes there. So as you can see, I just quickly created different uh, layouts over here just by 
adding this new column structure, which was uh, recently added to Divi. So now you can see our video here, we'll have content here on the left and also on the right. And this is a totally different layout. And then on the top here, we also have this unique layout as well. So these are the sort of um, layouts that you can create now with this new column layout structure. Now I'm just scratching the surface here. You can be, you know, crazy creative with this. So go ahead, try it out and uh, see what layouts you can come up with. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification because this channel is all about how to turn your website into a money-making machine and also how to design awesome looking websites. So be sure to subscribe and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.